Many games tell a story that develops as you play the game. Usually a text dialogue box will appear when interacting with characters or signposts. In our game, we're going to use these signposts to make some dialogue appear. So let's add a script to this signpost. We want it to trigger some dialogue to appear. The way this will work is it will detect if the player is overlapping it, and if it is, it's going to send out a message to tell the dialog box to appear and display some text. So we'll go to events and we'll grab when the level starts, and we're going to disable the physics on this object. So we'll go to physics and grab set physics enabled false. That way the player can walk through it and can overlap the object. Now for this object to know who the player is, we're going to save the player as a variable. So we'll go to variables, create variable, let's call this player, and then the type will be instance. There's our new variable created, grab set instance player 2, put it in when the level starts, and we're going to give it a value based on the player's tag. So we'll go to sensing, and under tagging we'll grab first instance by tag and the tag will be player. Okay, now we're gonna use a constantly block to be checking constantly if we're overlapping the player. So we'll go to events and grab constantly, drag that out, and then we're gonna check if we're overlapping. So we'll go to control flow, grab that if block, and then from sensing, down the bottom here, we want myself overlaps object. And we can click on object there and select player from our variables list. So what do we want this to do if we are overlapping the player? Well, we want the signpost to tell a text dialog box to display certain text. And we might have other um, signs or other characters that will use the same system but display different text. So we will broadcast a message with some information. So we'll go to events and down under message sending, we want broadcast message with myself. So we'll grab that block and connect it into the if block. Now the message that we'll broadcast will be show dialogue. And then myself is the information that's getting sent along. So let's get rid of myself and actually use more text. So we'll right click show dialogue and duplicate that. And in here, this will be the actual text that will be displayed. So we could say something like, make sure to collect all the coins, but be on the lookout for enemies. 